Hey, how's it going everyone? MLT Magic Tricks here. So in this video, I am going to be giving you a performance and a tutorial for this really impressive no setup teleportation style card trick. But before we get into it, if you are new here to the channel, make sure you subscribe with those notifications on for more card trick videos like this. And also, if you enjoy what you see in this video, make sure you hit that like button. And now let's get straight into the performance. Okay, so I would start off this card trick by having my spectator give the deck a shuffle. Once they are done, I would ask for the cards back and have my spectator think of a number between 5 and 15 and keep the number in their head. I would explain to my spectator that I'm going to be dealing off cards one at a time from the top of the deck, and they are going to memorize the card in the position that corresponds to their number. So if they were thinking of the number 10, they would memorize the 10th card. I'm going to be playing the role of my spectator here as well. So let's say my spectator is thinking of the number 8. Once the spectator has a number in mind, the magician would start dealing off cards. Since the range is between 5 and 15, I'm just going to deal off the first four here face down and start with the fifth card. So that's 5, 6, 7, Eight. This would be the card my spectator memorizes right here, the seven of spades. The magician is not going to know that, so I'm going to go ahead and deal up to 15. This is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Once the magician has shown the spectator all uh, 15 cards, you know, I would ask my spectator if they do have a card in mind. Uh, they would say yes in this case, and I'm going to go ahead and hand my spectator the packet of cards, and I would ask them just to spread through uh, their packet to make sure they see the card that they thought of. Um, when I was uh, showing them the cards. So they would spread through, uh, they would uh, see the seven of spades right here, and they would tell the magician that they do in fact see their selection in their packet. From here, I would tell my spectator that we're each going to be dealing cards from our packets into my hand here, and the number of cards we deal is going to be the number that my spectator thought of. So I would ask my spectator, what is the number you thought of earlier? They would say eight, and I would tell my spectator that we're each going to deal off eight cards from our piles. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start off dealing. This is one. Then my spectator would deal uh, cards from their pile right here into my hand. That's one, two, two, three, three. We're just going to go up to eight. So we each have three so far. It's four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, and seven. So we're actually going to stop right here at the number uh, just before my spectators because I would explain to my spectator that the eighth card in their pile theoretically should be uh, their selection. So what I'm going to do here actually is just go ahead and gather up my cards because I'm also going to be dealing uh, the eighth card in my pile right here. But I'd first have my spectator go ahead and deal the eighth card in theirs and they would see that, wait, the eighth card uh, in their pile is actually not their selection. It's the three of spades. And now I would tell my spectator that all I have to do is snap my fingers, wave my hand over the deck, and I would show them that the eighth card from the top of the deck is somehow their selection right here, the seven of spades. I got their card to teleport right here into my pile. All these cards are fully examinable by the spectator. There are no duplicates or anything for this trick. It's a really cool no setup effect. So if you want to learn how to perform it, make sure you stick around for the tutorial. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that performance. This is a really cool card trick. So grab your deck of cards and let's get straight into the tutorial. You're going to start off by having your spectator give the deck a shuffle because once again, this is a completely no setup trick. Uh, once they are done, you're going to tell your spectator to first think of a number between 5 and 15 and have them keep the number in their head. So you technically can have a little bit of a different range if you want to, like 10 to 20. But I like to use 5 to 15 and make sure the lowest number in your range is no less than 5. Using the range of 5 to 15 works perfectly. You're going to tell your spectator that you're going to be dealing off cards uh, one at a time from the top of the deck and they are going to memorize the card in the position that corresponds to their number. Make sure you give them a little example here so they're not confused. Just tell them, okay, if you're thinking of the number seven, you would memorize the seventh card from the top of the deck as I deal them off one at a time. Once they are clear, uh, you're gonna begin. So for the purpose of the tutorial here, let's say our spectator is thinking of the number 10, they would memorize the 10th card. So when you're dealing off cards here, you're gonna make sure you keep the cards in the same order. You're going to be taking off cards one at a time and sliding off the next card right below the previous one. So it's gonna look just like this. You're taking off cards 
one at a time. Each one is going below the other one. Make sure you're not doing it like a traditional way, like pl placing the cards on top. You don't want that. It's just going to be one below another. And since your range is between five and 15, the first four cards you deal off can just stay face down. And then you're gonna start with the number five here. So after you've dealt off four, you're gonna show your spectator the fifth. You're gonna say five because technically they could uh, memorize the fifth uh, card here. So you're gonna say five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You're gonna go all the way to 15. You're not gonna know which card your spectator memorized, but for the tutorial here, so we can follow along, this is the 10th card. The spectator is gonna be thinking of the nine of clubs. You're gonna go up to 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Make sure your spectator can get a clear view of, of each card and confirm with them that they do have a card memorized. So after you've dealt off the 15 cards, you're gonna place them right back on top of the deck and you're gonna maintain a pinky break below uh, the 15 cards. So I had the 15 cards placed back on top of the deck. I got a little pinky break here and you're gonna be handing your spectator these cards, but here is one uh, move that you need to do. It's very simple. As you pick up the 15, you're gonna kind of tilt the deck up towards you. And as you're bringing the deck back down, you're gonna be sliding off the very top card right back on top of the deck. So you're stealing one card from the 15. So in slow motion, this is what it looks like. You're sliding off that top card and you're handing your spectator 14 cards instead of 15. It's quite simple. Just make sure you do it in normal speed. Something like this, hand your spectator the cards. They're not gonna notice you did that. You have stolen one card from this packet. You need to do that in order for the trick to work. At this point, Tell your spectator to go through the cards and confirm that they see their selection. They are not going to notice they're holding 14 instead of 15. Don't worry about that. Just make sure uh, they spread through the cards to themselves and confirm that they see uh, the one that they are thinking of. So in this case here, our card, uh, we were thinking of the nine of clubs. We got it right there. That is uh, our spectator selection. Um, at this point, once they've gone through and confirmed that they saw their card, you're going to tell them, okay, keep the packet face down. We're, and you're going to tell them that we're going to be dealing off cards uh, one at a time from our respective piles into uh, your hand. And you're going to ask your spectator to say their number out loud. They are, would say 10. And you're going to tell them, okay, we're going to deal off 10 cards uh, each from our pile. So this is how it's going to start. You are going to start with the deck, uh, this is, you know, the pilots in front of you. It's the rest of the deck. You're just going to start off dealing cards into your hand here. So the first one's going to go from uh, your pile here. So you're going to tell your spectator, okay, that's one. Then you instruct them to go. They are going to take off the first card. That's one. And you're going to go up to the number that your spectator said, but you're going to stop at one number right before it. So we're going to stop at nine cards here. So uh, we're just going to go through. This is two, two, three, three. I'll speed up the video real quick until we stop at nine. At this point, once you have stopped at the number right before the final number that your spectator, uh, you know, had told you, so we'd stopped at nine cards here, our spectator's uh, number that they thought of was 10. Uh, this is how uh, the, the cards are set up. So the top card right here that's in the pile that's in your hand, this is going to be their selection right here, the nine of clubs. That happened because you slid off one of the cards from their pile, so that allowed their uh, selection to be at the uh, position here that's one before uh, their number. So their uh, card is right here. And what you need to do is palm off this card and bring it right to the top of your deck that's right in front of you, right to the this pile. So you're going to be doing some misdirection here. You're going to be talking to your spectator, moving your hands back and forth. And the best way to do this, I think, is kind of as you're talking, making some small talk and telling your spectator, okay, um, we stopped at the number right before 10. Uh, the 10th card in your pile should be your selection. You're just going to be talking and explaining that you're going to be sliding off the card and then you're going to come over with your other hand. You're going to push down on it like this. So it kind of snaps up into your palm just like that. Make sure it's concealed. Make sure you don't, you don't have wide fingers like that so your spectator can see. It's going to be happening quick. You're pushing down. You're making small talk, making eye contact with your spectator so they're not looking directly at your hand. You palm the card off as you, you're going to move your hand over to your deck and you're going to pick up the cards here like this. You can kind of move them around like this, like you're trying to gather them. Pick them up in your hand and tell your spectator to deal the 10th card from their pile. Tell them, okay, it should be your selection, but they're going to be confused that it's not. And then at this point, you have stolen uh, their real card from the pilots in your hand to the, the deck and tell them, okay, check this out. The 10th card from the top of the deck somehow is your selection. If you perform the palm, uh, you know, quickly and your spectators not catch it, they will be completely confused as to how their card suddenly is in your pile because they literally saw it in their deck. 
when they were going through it after you split the, the piles there. So that is the trick, guys. You really just got, just got to practice doing the palm move, uh, you know, palming off their card and bringing it to the deck. Practice it in a mirror. Uh, make sure you get it down before you go out and perform it. But if you do uh, the moves correctly, especially this last one here, the trick is very deceptive and will certainly fool all your spectators. I hope this one made sense. Definitely give it a try. And uh, I, let me know how it goes in the comment section below. If you are new here to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in my next one. Peace out.